The key components nowadays are, are the digital displays and the monitors, that's a big part of it. Uh, and then the other parts, key parts of ultrasound uh, include the, the transducer, which is a multi part system, but the main component of that is going to be the piezoelectric crystal, and that helps determine which frequency we're using. Uh, higher frequencies give us much better resolution, but they don't penetrate as far. So thyroid, again, is a great example where it's usually very superficial, so we can use a higher frequency transducer and get very clear pictures of the thyroid. Um, on the other hand, with the problem of obesity in America becoming such an epidemic, often when we're doing body ultrasound, we have to use different transducers, which are very low frequency, so that we can see through people's body wall, basically. Um, but yeah, so the two main components that we're focused on in ultrasound are going to be the transducer, what frequency it is to, to help determine how deep we can penetrate within the patient, but also how good our pictures are, and then the monitor to display that for us. So the piezoelectric crystal is one of the key components um, within ultrasound, and you have an electric gradient across that crystal. And as you change that gradient, the crystal actually changes shape slightly. As it changes shape um, very, very rapidly, um, it will create sound waves. Those sound waves then go into the patient, and they're going to be reflected or change speeds based on what density usually, um, or change in density, is occurring in the patient. So um, for example, Again, going back to the thyroid, it's right next to the trachea. So often, the trachea itself, since it goes from cartilage to air, there's a very big change in density and a change in speed. Um, and so the, the sound waves are reflected back to the transducer um, at a different rate than, say, in the thyroid tissue, which is kind of more homogeneous next to it. Um, and so then, when those sound waves return to the piezoelectric crystal, kind of the opposite process happens. The sound waves returning and what speed and how closely together they're returning is then transferred into an electric signal, uh, which is then converted into a digital display that we, we look at.